All right, give me a minute, please. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bill, Mr. Hyde, how you doing? Give me a minute, please. Give me a minute. I always wait a few minutes because people join me, so I have to get a little, give people time to come join me. Mm-hmm. Okay, give me a few minutes, please. A few minutes here. A few minutes. All right. 30 seconds, I'll start. One minute. Uh -huh. Sorry about that. Hey, John, how you doing? Okay, it's a second here. Five, four, three, two, one, and bingo. All right. The title of this video, you should know, is above the law. Why did I title that, you ask? Because Robert Mueller right now thinks pretty much he's above the law. But what, by his action, by raiding Trump's attorney's office, Conan's office, basically showing the president that I am more powerful than you are. Yes, basically that's what he's saying. He's the president and everybody else. I am more powerful. I am above the law. I don't answer to nobody. I'm just going to go out there and do what I want to do, basically. You know? And usually, you know, anybody with common sense, when investigations happens, there are limits on that. It's not like you can investigate somebody and do what the fuck you want to do. No, 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 no. There's limitations on that, you know? And whatever you're investigated, like you're investigating a crime. Everything your best has to be revolved around that crime. You can't just go other parts of it, you know. And if you find evidence of another crime while you're investigating this particular crime, you will have to get justification clearance to investigate the other crime as well. Or have another person investigate the other crime, something like that. But it doesn't give you a free-for-all for, you know, a free-for-all basically like Mueller's doing pretty much, you know. Because right now, Robert Mueller is just off the chain right now. Now, here's the thing, you know. What you think about, what you think about Trump or not is irrelevant on this one, okay? Anybody should know there's client attorney privileges. It was set up for a reason, basically. Why was that set up for is basically you can confide with your, uh, you can confide in your attorney, your attorney, basically 100% with your attorney, and your attorney cannot disclose that information to nobody, to press or anything else. And let me tell you something, to about 100% of the attorneys, I'll say that, their client privileges they have, they take that shit seriously. They take it personally. They take that shit for a reason for their business, for the law firm, make the law firm look good. They want their clients to be 100% honest with them. That's why the majority of the, of the lawyers or the attorneys really take that client privilege seriously with compassion, basically. They, they surely do, you know. I mean, that's sacred to them. I mean, that's like one of their Ten Commandments, like the Bible to them is gospel with them, you know. It should, I mean, it really is. So how dare Mueller and the left do something like this, okay? Now, there is ways. There's other things like if you expect, you know, a, 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 like, a, like, say, a person is both clever on crimes or something like that, yes, something like that. But it has to be 
very serious. He, he should have a lot of evidence on this. But Robert Mueller and Ron, Ron, Rob Reinstein, basically, who authorized the raid on Trump's attorney's office, really, in my opinion, crossed the line with this. Basically, Mueller's thumbing his nose up at the president, in my opinion, and pretty much telling the president, I am more powerful than you, even though I am not an elected official. I'm just here investigating something that may or may not exist. You know, I, I stated from the beginning, and uh, my target is not you, but you turn around basically telling everybody, yes, Mueller's main target is the president, basically. Yeah, that's basically what he is saying, you know. And here's the thing, you know, Mueller said the main purpose of the raid with his relationship back in 2006 with Stormy Daniels, which has nothing to do with the Russian melon in the 2016 election. Well, this investigation has gone way over, gone over a year now, over a year, okay? So why did he turn to a drastic measure of an alleged affair Trump had back, back in 2006 with a porn star slash prostitute slash stripper. Okay, so I mean, okay, Trump's denying it. Okay, but here's the kicker of this. I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm pretty sure, okay, I'm a Trump supporter, don't get me wrong, but this probably did happen. I have to be honest, I'm not gonna lie to you. This probably did happen. If yeah, Trump's denied for a reason, if I was president of the United States, I'd probably deny it too, if I did that or not. I'm just being honest with you. But Trump as president, he can't admit to that. But Stormy Daniels, basically, but I believe, okay, if they did or didn't, you know, that's back in 2006, okay, by two consenting adults. Now, here's the kicker. At first, Stormy Daniels denied this, denied this allegation, denied it ever happened. She denied it for a few months. Then the media cornered her, offered some kind of deal, which went public with this back, this is back a few weeks ago on 60 Minutes with Anderson Cooper. And then this is when she signed a non-disclosure agreement with a $130,000 fee on top of that. And I mean, even people who didn't like Trump said there's nothing illegal about this. There's not. So what is Mueller trying to do, you know, with this? You know, going to sing, going to raise Stormy Daniels' house? I mean, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Trump's lawyer's house, hotel, home, and everything else? You know, is this a thumb up? This is like a F to the president, basically. Did they get some legit information that was collaborating on some kind of crime together? Or is Robert Mueller pretty much daring President Trump to fire him? Because he has a lot to gain to be fired from this. He really does. He really does, you know. He really does. Okay. Now, I apologize. But I have to go to the next subject, okay? Because there's another one I want to talk about. And of course, I want to talk about Syria for a minute. Now, we all know what happened in Syria a few days ago. The alleged chemical attack in Dumas, I believe, which Hassad, which they blame Hassad for, basically. Now, before I get too further into this, I will make this statement right now. I'm myself perfectly clear. I am not an Assad supporter. By no, I'm not. I'm not support Assad. I'm not talking about serious support Assad whatsoever. I'm not supporting it. I'm just telling you facts and my opinions on this right here about Assad, Syria, and the chemical attacks and everything else. You know, and after looking at all this, okay. Now, I kind of wonder, is this really worth going to war for in the first damn place? And has this been totally investigated? That's the main issue I have, you know. I mean, so, I mean, one thing we should learn from the, from the past, from the Iraq War, 9-11, stuff like that, that we should look at things a little more deeper before we start going into war, especially in Iraq, especially in Iraq, Okay. I'm not talking about Iraq on this one. Maybe later, but not today. I'm going back to Syria, what I'm, I'm talking about right here. But here's a hot topic with Syria right now, okay? Chemical attack 
They claim to Saad. Is Saad deny it? You know. But is there evidence? Of, I don't know. But here's the thing with this, okay? This is a tweet from President Trump, by matter of fact. Russia vows to shoot down any and all missiles fired at Syria. Get ready, Russia, because they will be coming nice and new and smart. You shouldn't be partnering with a gas-killing animal who kills his own people and enjoys it. So basically, you know, President Trump and Putin, I guess, they're, they're talking shit to each other, basically, you know. They're talking shit, basically, you know. And President Trump is not the man that you're going to bully. President Trump is the bullier. I mean, President Trump is the bully, but you're not going to bully him. I'll put it that way. He's not, he's not going to bully him. And here's the thing with the thing going on with Mueller's team, and it's here, all this shit's happening at one time, you know. So Trump's got it all on his plate right now. And right now, you know, in a, Owens from uh, InfoWars, Owens, whatever, Owens from InfoWars, so the war room, you know, opposed to the page Jerry World, made a good, made a good point. This is like nuclear ping pong between Trump and Russia right now. This is what this is, you know. We got Trump on one, I mean, we got Russia on one side, Trump on the other right now, and that's all about Syria right now on the chemical attacks. Okay. Trump's thinking about going in. Russia says, you better not. And, and Trump's saying, fuck you, Russia. I'm coming in any fucking way. So you got two sides, you know, right here. One on this side, one on the other, you know. Sears right to in the middle right now. So right now we got a game going along with Syria. And when it stands right now, Syria is going to be the main prize. You know, I kind of wonder, is it really worth going to war for Syria? I mean... Okay, I don't know. But here's the thing, you know. This is literally Russian roulette, nuclear ping pong at its worst. That's what this is right here, you know. This, this is what it is. And much I hate to say, we did not elect Trump for this. Now, the whole purpose for us electing Trump is to pull out, to pull out all these damn wars and stuff like that, you know. And take all this money we're spending on wars and spend it in the United States. But, you know, one thing about all this, you know, a lot of Trump supporters are jumping on board with this. I am still a Trump supporter, okay? But I'm not 100% on board with the Syria thing right now. Because President Trump is playing a very dangerous game right now. Even though he has this, this Mueller team investigation over his head, who's gone too far, you know? Where Mueller's think he's more powerful than the president. And you have this the Syria thing going on right now, where the Russians are pretty much trying to put thumb their thumbs up Russia nose basic. I mean the Russians trying to put their thumbs up Trump's nose basically on this one too. So Trump is playing two power plays with two opponents. One there in Washington, DC, and one in Russia, and the other one's in Russia overseas, basically, on this one right here. Now, here's the thing with this, okay? This is this is that ping pong, say political ping pong, nuclear ping pong, all right? Because for all these years, okay, they have accused Trump of being a Russian agent with an AKA, that false piss dossier, gate dossier, what the fuck you want to call it, piss gate dossier, you know? You know? So ever since they accused President Trump of being a Russian agent. Now, here's the kicker. If President Trump was really a Russian agent, then right off the bat, he would be siding with Assad. He really could. But he's not. He's pretty much threatening Assad and everything else, you know, on this, and is willing to go to war with Assad over this chemical nuclear, all this chemical, this chemical attack here. Now, I gotta, you got to ask yourself, you know, well, President Trump will go so far Hey, Perez, I do. But President Trump will go so far to prove to everybody that he's not a Russian agent that he will go to war with Russia to prove that. Pretty much tell you, oh, you accuse me of being a Russian agent? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We'll go to war with Russia to prove I'm not. How you like that, you know? How you like that right there, you know? 
And here's another thing right here, too, on this. In this Mueller investigation, I have to go back and forth. I apologize. I got to go back to Syria and Rush and Mueller on this one, okay? In this Mueller investigation, we're basically Mueller, same as Russia, is pointing his thumb, wrapped Trump's nose on this one. And Mueller's basically daring Trump, like, fire me. Go ahead, fire me. Then what was Trump's doing? He's playing a little strategy game. They say, okay, Mueller, I'm not going to fire you, but I'll file Rob Rodenstein instead. How do you like those bag of apples? Okay. Then he's looking at Russia, and you say, oh, you want to bully me? You want to threaten me with shooting the missiles down? Screw you, Russia. Screw you. I am, Robert. I am. But that's basically he's telling Russia, screw you. Here comes the missiles. Here they come. Get ready, Russia. You want war? We'll have war. But at the end of the day, okay, all this excitement going on right now, the calm before the storm, you know, and people screaming World War Three, you know, and everything else. Right now, look at it as a shit show right now, basically on this one, okay? Because Trump's not getting impeached, I tell you that right now. And more than likely, we're not having World War Three over Syria because at the end of the fucking day, it's just not fucking worth it. All this is, is Trump and Putin talking shit to each other. And with Mueller is pretty much telling the president that I am fearless. I have more powerful, than, I'm more powerful than you. And I can do what the fuck I want to, to you. Okay. So all this is, is strategy right now. It's got a big military presence over off the coast of Syria. Yes. In the Middle East right now. That's building up real quick right now. And with Mueller's team in the investigation, they better watch out. They better watch out real quick. Because I can see Trump's not going to fire Mueller personally. He's not going to fire Mueller. He's not going to touch Mueller. But he's going to get around that by firing Mueller's boss, basically. Or better yet, fire Jeff Sessions. Because Jeff Sessions recused himself of his investigations. He, Trump's still pissed at that. And the only reason why Jeff Sessions recused himself, because Jeff Sessions is a pussy, basically. I'm just being honest with you. That's why he recused himself. Of it. So what will Trump will do? Because I'll do the same thing myself. I can't, I may be able to fire you, Mueller, Ronstein. I might fire you. I don't know if I can or not. But Sessions, you're fired. And they can't do shit about that. And put a new attorney general in there to see what the fuss going on with all this, you know. That's what basically what this is about right here, you know. All a strategy game. That's all a strategy game, you know. Basically, Trump's facing two opponents. Hey, Terrace, they had, but Trump's facing two opponents, Mueller, Robert Mueller, and Russia. All this is gonna be a strategy. And trust me. Trump, being the strategy player that he is, he is going to outsmart all of them, probably, and get the upper hand on this one, okay? So don't think that we're going to have World War III, and don't think that President Trump is going to be impeached. None of that shit is very unlikely to happen. All this shit is right now is just a strategy right now, a shit show, a strategy show right now. We're on TV talking shit and believe you and me don't believe everything you hear on fucking tv because you got a lot of shit you got to take a grain of salt any fucking way but my opinion syria there's no reason to go to war for syria and more likely it's not going to happen and that's all i gotta say about that thank you for watching have a good day god bless you and bye bye